I need to buy this many books? Absolutely not, but I did anyway, so let's unbox them. Welcome to our very first book unboxing on this channel. As you guys can tell by the title of this video, we're doing the ever... <sighs> we're doing an Amazon unboxing. I've been hinting at this video for quite a while. I have been putting in some orders for books. Not that in any way I should have or needed to, but I did regardless. And to just say if my, if somebody would print off the amount of money I've spent on books just in this, I would rather go blind. What did Beyonce say? I would rather, I would rather go blind, you. I also just woke up. I'm looking at it too rough. Super excited. What made me want to do an Amazon unboxing was because I'm always ordering books off Amazon and one, I love watching Amazon unboxings. And for two, I did like an unboxing over on my TikTok when I got my new Callaway covers. I was like, this is so much fun. I want to do this. And so here we are. I kind of want to make this like maybe a monthly thing. So we're going to do this in May. Maybe we'll do another one in June. Like try to do it like a monthly thing. Or is that not good for my bank account? And should I just like stray away from that? You guys tell me. Do you guys enjoy this? Then I'll do it. I need any excuse to buy them anyway. So here we go. We're just gonna get right into it. Where should we start? There are a few of these that I did open. I only opened this one to make sure it had all three books in it because this was a very small parcel for just three books. Let's open this one up. Oh my gosh. Things We Know By Heart. This is on my TBR for this month. If you guys haven't watched my May TBR, it is up, but this is one of the books. I hadn't even heard about this, and I got a few of you recommending this to me, and it seems so, so interesting. It's basically, it's basically, oh my god. The back, why does the back already make me want to cry? The back says, for so long, I was one with this heart. I just need to see where it is now. Let me pull this knife out of my chest really quick. Oh, I'm so excited for this one. So this book I found on TikTok and I found the author on TikTok. She just released it. It is 2204 Hunter Lane. And I had seen her for a few weeks kind of talking about her book. I was, I lucked out because she released it. I just cannot wait to read it. I think she said this is based off of her boyfriend. Her boyfriend's name is Hunter. Ugh, I forgot this. I also ordered Bright Side by Kim Holden and it came with the freaking person cover. If you guys don't know, there's also a different cover where it's just like plain orange and says Bright Side right here and that's the one I wanted because I don't like people on the cover and this is the one Amazon sent me even though it said it was just the plain orange. It has a Colleen Hoover review. You must read it. Colleen Hoover. <laughs> I know that they kind of like take chunks right from like reviews that they write but you must read it like that's all because they know that it all it takes is for Miss Queen Coho to be like you need to read it and we are but I'm just a little upset about the person on the cover I didn't I didn't want that oh where should we go okay this one let's see let's see I literally have forgot like what books that I ordered this shall be interesting <gasps> oh Lovers by Emily Henry. Oh, I this is gonna be the next book that I read. It's gonna be the next book that I read because I was waiting to read it because I knew it was in one of these packages. I can't believe that I have this in my hands right now. I've been seeing everyone talk about this book, and I literally it was like, oh my god, I have to wait until my Amazon unboxing. This cover, why does it feel like that? But I love the back of it. You see all these books because isn't aren't they in like the publishing company? I don't know, but I'm so excited. This one feels pretty hefty. This one feels, what did I order that would feel this thick? Who knows? Oh, okay, I know. It is Wait For It by Mariana Zapata. This is my May Mariana Zapata book pick. Oh my God, this is like 700 pages. I've been seeing all over TikTok, like people talking about it more. So I'm very excited for that one as well. Amazon is just so interesting with like the different types of packages they have. Like this brown one. What is this? You know what's bad when you've ordered so many books that you just like forget. You just forget. Why is this so 
thick. I swear when I've seen this on like bookstagram and book talk, it just seemed like a thin book. This is A Million Kisses in Your Lifetime of Monica Murphy. I've been seeing it everywhere, so therefore I bought it, but holy crap, this is so thick. Like, why was I so surprised? I was like, what book did I order that's this thick? Why am I skipping through the pages and reading them? What is going on with me? This is a book that I ordered. I can always tell whether I ordered it off of my account or my mom's account because it'll say Destiny on it, and if I order it on my mom's account who has Prime, it'll say her name on it. order this wait oh my god one of you guys sent me this one of you guys sent me Layla by Colleen Hoover which is one of the only Colleen Hoover books that I haven't read isn't that crazy that I haven't read this yet what is going on this is my first Colleen Hoover book I love it I hope you enjoy it guys go follow her on TikTok her TikTok is Christina Hines so I'll put it on the screen on Instagram TikTok I'm gonna put it right here Thank you so much, Christina. That is so, so sweet. And I can't believe that I now have this book. And now I can read it. Like, what's going on with this? Like, what is this? Oh. Uh, uh, I've been seeing this everywhere. Yeah, I'm very nervous. Pack Up the Moon by Christina Higgins. Chris, Kristen, Kristen Higgins. Here, this is also on my TBR for this month, so... I'm very, very nervous. I also hate when it comes in these like boxes like this. I don't know why they're just hard for me. Okay, we got it open. Oh my God. Oh, okay, that just, but I completely forgot that I ordered this, but I'm so excited. I'm gonna be reading this next month, which is the Bad Reputation duet. So this is the the collector's edition of Willow and Garrison's romance. If you guys didn't know, these are like two side characters in the Addicted Calloway universe. They have two books, which is whatever it takes and whatever and wherever you are. So this is just both of those books in one because honestly, the covers of those books really cringe me out. And this is like the collector's edition of them. So they just put them in one book. And look at how cute this cover is though. Oh my gosh, so cute. I just needed every part of the Calloway Sisters series, so. Next book. Let's see. Oh, The Confidence of Wildflowers, which is also on my TBR for this month, which I have also seen absolutely everywhere. I was 18, he was 31. Okay, I did not know this was that age gap romance. You guys know age gap isn't my favorite. So we will see, we'll see how I like this book because age gap is just something for me that for some reason is very hard for me to like get over. I don't know why. Like I don't judge anybody if that's their fave because you do you, but that's just not something that I particularly enjoy. See, why can't all Amazon packages be like that? We just tear it open. What is this one? Why did I forget that I even bought this book? Juniper Hill, I saw Larry Reed's talk about this and that was enough for me. Is this the first one? Why is his name Knox? Literally, I just read things we never got over last month. Why is his thing name Knox? Why? Why is it what to call him Fox? Knox. Why is his name also Knox? Is this like the new uprising of like the name Olive in all romance books? Like are people going to start using the name Knox? But I've heard great, great things about this. So I bought Juniper Hill. I don't even know if that's the first one, second one. I have no clue. Could not tell ya. I also opened this one, but I forget what's in it. So I think I was just peeking in it. <gasps> oh my God. One of you guys sent me a court of thorns and roses. You want to know what's so funny? I take this as a sign because I have been seeing book talks about this everywhere, like talking about, I'm pretty sure it was talking about this, and I can't wait to read it. I cannot believe that I've ever said that. I always was like, I will never read Akatar, like never. And then I saw people posting on book talks, like I kind of thought it was just about like fairies or something. But I heard because I watch, her name is Rachel and I watch her videos and she just started reading this series. And she said that every single story is like, not every single story, but it's like basically this is a Beauty and the Beast retelling that like fantasy version. Oh, it's, oh. Hi, recently found your YouTube slash book talk account and I love your videos. Also, your third person I've ever booked very duel, but I hope you enjoy this book because I love this series from. Okay, hold on. Let me try to say it. Ja 
I'm so bad with names and this is making me sweat with anxiety. Please tell me how you pronounce your name. Thank you so, so much. Jalea, Jalea, I don't know. Oh my God, I'm so sorry if I'm pronouncing it wrong. I literally love you, thank you so much. And I can't wait to read this book. Hopefully I love it, that way we can bond over it. When I'm feeling very anxious, I tend to turn to a British accent. Is there just, don't tell me that there is this huge package that's bigger than my whole entire like head for one book. Please don't tell me there's one singular book in here. Oh no, there's multiple. I was about to be like, girl. If there's just one book. Oh, okay, yeah. So, okay, yeah. <laughs> Why did I just say that so much? Okay, first of all, I got Lotus because I'm reading Still Beating this month. And not that these go together at all, but I it's so funny because I ordered this because Larry Reads also read this. Anything she recommends, I buy, basically. It's funny because I bought it and then I saw so many TikToks starting to come of that. I bought then Indigo Ridge. Okay, but which one is the first one? Okay, this one was 2021. This one was also 2021. Oh my god. Okay, I'm just gonna have to look it up. But basically, I also got Indigo Ridge because they go together. Is there gonna be a third book? I'm pretty sure, yeah, there's gonna be a third book so it was read. And then I bought Christmas and Quincy because it was a novella and it says the Eden's prequel. So I was like, okay, so maybe this gives more backstory on the Eden. So... I picked it up. Couldn't tell you why, but I did. Oh my gosh, we're down to our last few. I'm so sad that this is over, but we have another one of those freaking kind of annoying book things. Okay, the resurrection of wildflowers. This is the it's a duet. So you have the confidence of wildflowers and the resurrection of wildflowers. This book is supposed to be super sad, like at the end or something. And then everything's supposed to kind of go good in this book. These covers are very beautiful though. Oh my gosh. This is the second to last package. And I just want to cry. Why is it over already? The Chase, the Bride, guys, you guys are gonna make me read the Bride You series, aren't you? Is this about, this is the first one, right? Cause this is about Dean's sister. Cause I know that that's kind of how it connects because I asked if the Briar U series connects the off campus and you guys were like, kinda, cause it has like some people from the books that you hear about, but this is about Dean's sister, right? Summer? Hi, I love your channel so much and I always trust your book, Rex. Hope you enjoy this book, IG and TikTok. I'm gonna put her Instagram and TikTok right here because she is so, so sweet, so you guys should go follow her. Thank you so, so, so much. But now you guys are opening a door, okay? Because now I'm going to start reading Briar U and then I'm going to have to buy all the rest of the Briar U books and then it's going to be a whole article. This is the last book. This is the last book. I want to cry. I want to cry. Oh, Underneath the Sinkamore Tree by B. Celeste. This is another book that I'm reading this month that I had to order. I'm not going to say it. You know what I've recently started trying not to do is tell the synopsis of the book. I try to tell briefly what it's about, but like a lot of people don't like knowing the synopsis because the synopsis does like spoil things sometimes. So I started not reading the synopsis of books, even though it's been hard for me. I stopped kind of saying the synopsis of books because people are like, oh no, we don't want to know the synopsis. And I'm like, okay. You guys do you. You guys do you. So I haven't been saying them because of that reason. Those are all of the books. 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 <laughs> Let's rapid fire do a haul of all of the books. So this right now. Let's count how many there are. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. 18. So not terrible. <laughs> like I didn't do a lot of damage and you guys sent me some, which thank you so much. Again, I just want to reiterate, if you ever send me a book, you are so, so, so sweet. I keep all of the notes. I put them in the front of the book. So I always know that you guys would even think to do that. You guys are amazing. Let's rapid fire go through. So we have Underneath the Sinkmore Tree by B. Celeste, The Chase by L. Kennedy, which is the first book in the Briar series, which off topic, I did a TikTok one day and I was like, what do you guys think? Like what book, uh, like world, like what book would I be in if I was in a book? And a lot of you guys said Briar U slash off campus. And a lot of you guys have the end me saying, oh my God, you are what I imagined. Cause I think her name is Summer in this book. I imagined what Summer looks like. Like you, you are what I imagined Summer looks like. And I was like, 
I hope that's a good thing. I don't know. Then we got the confidence of wildflowers and the resurrection of wildflowers. Juniper Hill, Indigo Ridge, and Christmas in Quincy. The most random purchase of this whole entire thing. Lotus, we got Akatar, got the Bad Reputation duet, Back Up the Moon, we got Layla. I can't, I still can't believe that this, I like, I haven't read this yet. I still can't believe it. A Million Kisses in Your Lifetime that I'm still surprised at how thick this book is. Wait For It by Mariana Zapata. Book Lovers by Emily Henry. The Things We Know by Heart. 2204 Hunter Lane. And we have Bright Side by Kim Holden. This book stock is about the wall, literally. Can you guys see? Because my screen just went black, but. It's about to fall. That is the end of today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, you know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe. You know the whole entire deal, the business with that. If you guys want me to do like monthly Amazon unboxings, totally let me know down below. Or if you guys hated this and you guys were like, no, Dusty, we never want to see this again. Also let me know. I would love to do it. I think these videos are super, super fun. And until then, that's it for today's video. And I will see you guys when I see ya. Peace.